Well, what are we fixing today? Well, today I have a multi-outlet strip. And I bought this for the test bench. It's been sitting around because I needed to flash it. It's a Tuya based device. I got it here somewhere. Um, it has four outlets and the USBs, which is five relays. Now I have another one of these running in the uh, basement on a server, turning some stuff on and off. But um, this one, I want to run on the test bench. Anyway, the fellows at Tasmoda and Digiblur came up with a multi-press button. Because if you notice, this thing has one button and five relays. Well, how does that work? All the tabs mode up until now, you have maybe three commands you can do. There's a long press, short press, and a double press sometimes. That depends on your setup. This has five buttons. I'm going to show you how to set that up. Let's go. There's our Tua Converts, Tuya Convert screen. You can see in the video here that our donor is ready. So let's get this running. Awesome. First try. First try once I got to you convert fixed. <laughs> I forgot I, for, I forgot the password on my Pi. <laughs> so the uh, the bin file that we're gonna send is the one I'll, I gave you I'm gonna give you a link for it in the description. It's number two on here. I loaded it into here. But uh, you can download it from the link I, I showed you from Digiblur's uh, GitHub. Um, but we're gonna, I already put it in here. So we're gonna do number two. Two. Uh, are you sure you want to flash? Yes. Buttons v2.bin. And this is the one that's uh, with experimental firmware. We do not want to flash another device. Cleaning up and done. As our device it is currently set to generic module because it doesn't know anything about it was. It has no switches or any of that stuff. So we're going to have to go to... Um, the other thing I should do since this is a two year convert is do a reset five. I don't know what that's all going to delete, but let's see. Reset five. That clears out all the garbage that might be in there in weird places and cause you issues. Set everything to defaults except for the Wi-Fi. All right, that's done. And yeah, okay, that that disappeared. So we're gonna have to put the uh, put the, uh, the template back in. So template activate. So we'll just do that again. Gun strip, save. So here we go. Can I can I click the buttons? Relay one. Relay two. Relay three. Relay four. Oh yeah, it's going on and off. It's inverted. Okay, so I figured out one or two things. First of all, if you notice, let's go back over here. I now have the, the light on here for these. And if you look on the screen, it says one there. And if I click it, it goes off here and it goes off there. So I can turn Relay 5 on and off, and it matches. I ended up going into the template. So if you go into Configuration, Template, uh, Configure Other, sorry. 
Uh, this is the string that we copied from that other website. So for whatever reason, this was set to 25, which is really five. And I changed it to um, 33, which is really five inverted. And when I do that, then everything matches up correctly. But if you look on the screen, and if you look on here, you can see they're all on now. And I can do one click to turn one off. Two clicks will turn that one off. Three clicks will turn that one off. Oh, that was two. A little bit hard to click it sometimes. And four clicks will turn that one off. All right, and five clicks won't change that at all. So now we have everything uh, everything configured the way I want it. I'll just turn them all on just so they're all on, making pretty noises. Uh, the next thing I want to do is import this to Home Assistant, and this goes, I can't snap my fingers, but pretend it snaps the fingers, and it goes pretty easy. So let's go. I'll go back to configuration. Now I have my MQT information in here. And don't freak out about this. It's a personal preference. I always flip my topics around. So we're going to do um, auto discovery, which used to slip, flip this around, but you know what? I like it flipped around. So all of my Tasmota devices have this flipped around. And I keep track of it better that way. It makes more sense to me. So, uh, don't ask me why, it's the way my brain works. So, let's go back. Uh, don't save. Main menu, console. And here is how easy it is to get this stuff into Home Assistant. Set, set option 19, one. It's going to go bloopity bloopity bloop and reboot and send a bunch of stuff to MQTT. And let's look. Bench one, solder iron, power supply, bench strip. Isn't this nice? Oh! I did that wrong. The, the name is the first one there. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you how to clear these if you need to clear these because I need to change this one. I'm going to clear these out of uh, uh, auto and get them back. So let's go back over here. We're going to turn off auto discovery and this will also clear everything from home assistant so those will all disappear now and i don't know if it reboots or not but this is what i want to change so now bench strip is going to be one which is this one so when i plug stuff in for doing experiments or stuff i'm going to plug it into there um, this is going to the lights above my head. This is going to the power supply that you can't see there. And this is going to the solder iron, which you can't see there. I just talk too much. I need to save this. Resets. So come back in a second. There we go. Make sure everything works. One. Two, three, four, USB. There we go. Happy, happy. Now, let's go into the console. And let's set option 19, one. We'll turn back on all discovery. And now it just send the new names. And Home Assistant should have the new information. Six devices, let's go in here. 
Why is there a bench strip one and a bench strip zero? Oh, so this must be the correct one. And add to Lovelace. This is exactly what I wanted to do. Will this work? Yep. On, on, on. One, on, on. And these just haven't updated yet. So add to Lovelace. I want to add it to. At the Lovelace. There we go. So let's overview home. See if it's there. Oh, gotta refresh it. Should be on the bottom here. And there it is. Isn't this awesome? Turn them all off. Turn them off. Well, that's my video today. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, remember that this is a this firmware is in the developmental section of the Tasmona website, and I'll give you a link. And the version changes like daily. Uh, at some point, this will be added to the uh, main repository because it looks like it's working now. It's kind of in test mode. So, if you're going to use this to turn on and off your, I don't know, your ventilator, I wouldn't use it for that. Um, this is on a test bench and it's a good place for it. Uh, when it comes out in uh, final release, I would be just fine with it, but you know, it's a bit experimental because it's on the dev side. So be careful with that. In the meantime, hope you got something out of this video. Um, hope it helped you. Um, you can always, uh, give me a like. Likes are good stuff. I like likes. If you, uh, want to subscribe, you can do that. I have some more videos to watch. All kinds of stuff here for you. Um, thanks for your time. Until next time. Bye-bye.